Last week, Jeff Bezos, the engineer of Amazon.com fame and fortune, offered a sneak peek at a new development in his $500 million side project. He released new images of the progress that aerospace manufacturer Blue Origin has made in developing the new Shepard capsule. Soon, the capsules will be sending well-paying space tourists on 11-minute suborbital flights. Interesting. According to Bezos, while the new Shepard flight test program has been focused on system performance, the Blue Origin team has also been designing the capsule interior with, quote, an eye toward precision engineering, safety, and comfort. And, and it looks like he nailed it. The capsule will hold six people who will be able to get out of their seats and experience weightlessness as they gaze out at what the company is calling the largest windows ever in space. What I found fascinating was the center console and how it so closely resembles Echo, Amazon's voice controlled speaker. And who knows, maybe Alexa will be your guide on these 11 minute trips to the doorstep of space. The capsules were on display at the 33rd Space Symposium in Colorado Springs this week, and the crowd seemed impressed. Even Buzz Aldrin. Blue Origin still plans to have human test flights by the end of 2017, with customer flights beginning in 2018. I'm still not sure what the woman, though, is doing in this photo. I mean, sure, like, it gives us a good look at the likely spacesuits, but I mean, if, if she's, like, not on the ground in this mock-up, like, and she's on the outside, like something has gone terribly awry. Horribly. Oh, that woman is, well, she's a goner. Is this a dead woman? DARPA recently flight tested a subscale version of a novel aircraft design as part of its vertical takeoff and landing, or VTOL, X-plane program. And it looks like a better solution than that U-line that we saw last week. I mean, or at least perhaps it's just a little further along. Made by Aurora Flight Sciences, the aircraft has 24 electric ducted fans, 18 within the main wings and six in the front wing that allow the plane to take off and land vertically. After the successful tests, they'll now begin work on the full-scale version. The full-scale VTOL X-Plane, officially called the XV-24A, will weigh 12,000 pounds, nearly four times the size of the craft in the recent test. The full-scale craft will also have to hit specific performance targets. So we can look forward to the next version that should be able to exceed 300 knots, which is about 345 miles per hour. I just wanna know why everything cool now has an X in it. Like this is their X project, it's a X plane. Segway next story. Is this a dead woman? Yesterday, Boeing announced Horizon X, again with the X's! I get it, so that means it's gotta be cool. If you put an X in your company's name, you're setting the bar for innovation pretty high. Just like, oh yeah, I mean, they had an X in it and their product was a depressing failure that burned everybody inside, but it had an X, so it had promise! Yesterday, Boeing announced Horizon X, a new innovation cell that the company hopes to use as a vehicle to find and accelerate emerging technologies particularly transformative aerospace technologies, manufacturing innovations, and emerging business models. So what exactly does that mean? Well, luckily the announcement came with news of the venture's first two investments, which can help us gauge what's catching the company's eye. The first is Washington DC based Upskill, which makes enterprise software for augmented reality wearables. We've previously discussed the potential impact AR will have on the industry, and Upskill is focused on using it to enhance productivity, quality, and safety in manufacturing, field service, and logistics. The second investment is Zunum Aero, a Kirkland, Washington-based company that's trying to develop alternative propulsion aircraft. The startup is trying to build hybrid electric airplanes that, according to an article in GeekWire, could reduce fares by up to 80% for trips that are about a thousand miles long. Boeing has actually been working with Upskill for more than two years to see if the company could find a use for its technology. But if Zunum sounds more like your style, the company is actually looking for help, like a lot of help, specifically anyone with expertise in aircraft design, big one, aeroacoustics, propulsors, electric drives, power conversion, battery packs, optimization, and control. So, startup is an appropriate word. But what I'm most interested to see is what Boeing is gonna find next on the horizon. So they can slap a big ol' X next to it and call it innovative. I'm David Manti. This is engineering by design. Oh, instead of by, we should actually have an X. So like, engineering by design. Sleek, innovative, sexy.